Okay, so I showed you how to implement this code here. Now let me show you that it works with these errors. So as you see now, we do not have a title, we do not have contents. Let's submit it. And here we see that we get those two errors that we expected to have. And when we go into Firebug again, and we check we have the UL we have it closed and we have our list tags opened and closed very useful technique I just recommend using it whenever possible also we can move this here and say else if because if it's empty anyway um, if it's not empty, no. If it's empty, it means it doesn't have a string length, meaning it's pointless to check for it anyway. I hope that makes sense. I think you can understand why this is slightly better by um, understanding that posting an empty field results in a string with a character length of zero or a string length of zero. Anyway, let's continue with this add postal PHP file. If we do not have any errors, so if empty errors, then we can add the post. Of course, this is another function we still need to add. Now, as you see, it takes three parameters. Title equals MySQL real escape string. Yep, we always need to do this. Contents, same story. Contents and category is an integer so we can just cast it to an integer then tab it in nicely there we go now all we need to do is do mysql query insert into posts set title or cat id equal to category title equal to title contents equal to contents and finally remember we also have a date posted field that's going to be equal to now this now function is incredibly useful what it does is it takes the current date and time and oops well that's messed up there we go it takes the current date and time and stores them in this format day month year and then hours minutes seconds so we're going to use this now is in my opinion, one of the most useful functions in MySQL. Definitely recommend using it. You don't need to, but it's great. So let's finish that. And of course we need to put title, contents and post category in here. And now when we submit the title, uh, first post, and awesome post, yay. We're just going to post it to the uncategorized category. And we get undefined variable ID on line 6. And of course this needs to be category. When we go to posts, 
we see that it did post, but because of this undefined variable, this get ID here is zero, so we're going to change that to one manually. Now let's add another post. Second post, just as awesome. Post to uncategorized as well. And there we have our posts. So this also works now. However, we're not quite done. We need to add a few more things here. We're going to redirect the user to the post they just posted. And that will be on index.php id equals some id. However, how are we going to get that ID? We don't ever actually specify a post ID anywhere in this script. Luckily, there is a very useful function for this and it's called MySQL insert ID. And this basically just takes, if I'm correct, the value that was last put into a primary field. Just think of it as this. We have an ID field. We just inserted a post into it with an ID of 2. So in this case ID is equal to 2. It's pretty simple. So we're going to redirect them to index.php ID equals ID and then we will kill the script. So let's see if that works. Third post. Isn't it awesome? And we see we get redirected to index.php id equals 3, which happens to be the last inserted id. So this is um, a slightly shorter part in this series. In the next part, we are going to start creating the index page, which will simply be a list of all posts that were added to the database. So see you in the next part.